Greetings beautiful people, welcome back to Uncle Lou's Kitchen! Today I'm going to be showing you how to make my Aunt Dolly's stuffed red peppers. This is a Moroccan slash Middle Eastern recipe. I'm going to make it in two stages. First of all I'm going to show you how I make the base mix, which is the stuffing, and then I'm going to show you how I make the sauce. Now I'm making a large batch of this, okay, because I don't just use it for this recipe. I use it to stuff aubergines, you can stuff courgettes or zucchini, if that's what you call it, vine leaves, and pretty much anything you want. And it's, it's just nice to have on its own as well, so you can just have it as a side dish, stick it in the fridge, whatever you've got left over. Then once you see the end of this video, you're going to see how badass this really is. Now don't expect when you're making this to have the same portions that I'm making. Like I said, you're making a big batch. The amount that I'm going to read out to you, and the amount that's going to be written on the screen, is the amount that you need for six red peppers. If you want to know the big batch that I made, I've basically tripled the recipe so that I can just make other stuff with it as well. Other than that, I hope you enjoy it. Take care. And as always, if you happen to like vegan food and soul food, both of them together, hit the like button, hit subscribe, and I will love you for it. Take care, guys. Let's get cooking. So to start off with, we want around six to seven red bell peppers, large ones. You want about 90 grams of dry soya mince, but what you want to do is soak it so that it inflates. Then you want to drain it. Drain out most of the moisture, keep it a bit moist. Once that's all drained out, you should be left with around 250. Could be more, could be less, but that's okay. You want half a cup of rice. You want to soak the rice, okay? So it needs to be al dente, not fully cooked, because we still want them to absorb all the flavor, but if they expand too much, they can cause the peppers to explode. So that is why we soak them a little bit so that they do manage to get some inflation, but not too much. You want a small handful of chopped coriander, a small handful of chopped flat leaf parsley, again, not the curly parsley. You want a medium sized onion that's been chopped into cubes and a pinch of salt to taste. Okay, so for the spices, this is where it gets interesting. So it's called les quatre épices in French. Okay, it's the four spices and it's basically meatball spice. So in the Middle East, they would use this to make meatballs, this, this combination of spices. So you've got a pinch of cinnamon, a pinch of cloves, a pinch of ginger, a pinch of white pepper. If you don't have, you can use black. A pinch of nutmeg. I've also added a pinch of cumin. Now, if you don't have all of these spices or you only have a few, that's okay as well. So here's the thing. For the portion that you're going to be making, as I said, for six of these bell peppers, you only want the total to amount to half a teaspoon. So that means all of the spices together should fit on half a teaspoon. Don't overdo it. So to start off, we're going to fry up some onions and I'm going to teach you a little trick. So once you've thrown the onions into the oil, you're going to add a cup of water to them. By adding this cup of water, it will make them go silver, it will prevent them from burning, but it will also give them moisture. Okay, so that moisture is going to help them to inflate. The reason why I want them inflated is because when I add them to the stuffing mix, it will give a bit more mass to the mixture and the onions will be juicy. Now the next bit doesn't require too much information, we're just going to throw it all in and give it a nice mix. Back to our onions, I'm going to see that they're ready and then we're just going to add them in. Now the next bit we want to half cook our peppers, just to make them a bit more malleable so that when we fill them up they don't break and they're just a bit easier to work with. You'll know they're done when you can just poke them and they're a bit more flexible. You just want to lose that initial crunch that they have. Keep an eye on it, do not overcook them. Now we're just going to fill them up, but remember, don't fill them up the whole way through because we still need to give room for the rice to expand as it isn't 100% cooked and we don't want the peppers to burst. Now moving on to the sauce, we want a large grated tomato or two small ones, salt and pepper to taste, three cups of water mixed with vegetable stock or vegan chicken stock which i'm using an onion two garlic cloves a tablespoon of paprika two tablespoons of tomato puree concentrated and because we're using the tomato puree concentrate you want to add a teaspoon of sugar just to neutralize that bitterness and now for the final stage we're going to fry our onions Once they're fried for a little bit, we're going to add our garlic and we're just going to add a little bit of the stock. 
add our paprika, salt, pepper, tomato, literally just add everything in at this stage. Give it a good mix, then add the rest of the liquid. Once it starts bubbling up and you can see everything's taking a nice colour and aroma, you're going to add the peppers to it and just cover the peppers with a bit of the sauce just to start them off. And then you want to use the rest of the stock, just fill it up to a point where the peppers are halfway covered in sauce. Now we're going to let this sit on a low heat for between 45 minutes to an hour. Keep checking, it may be more for you. But from time to time make sure you lift the lid up and you cover the peppers with some of the sauce just to make sure that they stay moist and don't dry up from the inside. One hour later. Once you can see the sauce is really reduced down, at this stage we're going to add the lids of the peppers on top. It doesn't matter if they belong to the same one. Remember this isn't Michelin star, we don't do that here. We do soul food. So as long as it tastes good that's what counts. Cover them up, let the caps of the peppers absorb some moisture and some flavour and then turn the heat off completely. We're just going to let it sit. And finally, once you can split the sauce and you can see it takes a while to come back, that's when you know it's pretty much done and ready. It's up to you guys how you like it. You may be wondering why one of them's disappeared. I was starving, so I had one. And that's about it.